So back to <laughs> we're trying. Okay, we were conducting an interview, guys. Okay, y'all chill for a minute. Okay, so you were saying in the video um, previous we had to stop the tape because of technical difficulties. <laughs> um, you were saying how you were displaced during Hurricane Ian. So what is going on now? Oh, get into just a little bit about um, being displaced, how that happened, and then where did you end up from the displacement? So anyway, um, so the hurricane damaged my house. My house is actually falling apart. Coming loose from the seams, there's a big hole in the top of the roof. So I went down. I tried to put it on the 30th of September. And I had, you know, they had made a mistake when they said it. So they came on the team and said, that, you know, the right. news. Right. And they were talking about the glitch that they sent some of the people. So I've been still trying to straighten that out. And meanwhile, my house is sitting there rotting. And, um, mildew and everything. <laughs> I have lung cancer. So as I said, I got lung cancer, COPD, sarcoidosis, <laughs> and I have asthma in my lungs. And uh, my house is full of mildew. So I had to go back down to FEMA on the of October to try to get them to do something. They sent out an inspector on the 6th of November that they indicated all the issues that was going on with my house and everything and right after that another hurricane hit so my house is really really it's not livable seriously so so okay so anyway so from uh, october 10th to now i've been staying in the hotel waiting on a uh, female um, you know decision and things so it really by it's like it's hurting me so bad is that I have to walk away from my house. FEMA, I just put it as like a joke to me, you know. What they did was out of all the damages that was done in my house, it cost over two, three thousand dollars just to even put another roof on my house. There's a big hole in the uh, the roof, especially back by my bathroom. And uh, water I'm not the bathroom, I'm sorry, the bed my back my bedroom was asleep. Where all the water came in, destroyed all my stuff. A lot, of, a lot of stuff was damaged in the flood. So what they did. Was so they, you only were able to say what you brought to the hotel. Exactly. So basically, a couple exactly. of bags and that's it. Exactly. They denied my all my personal property. They gave um, fifteen hundred dollars for home repair, and they gave me two months of rental assistance, which is twenty eight hundred dollars. So once my uh, stay at this hotel is over, I will be homeless. And when is that? Uh, so you you've been here since September of last year. October. Okay. October and it's up almost in February, so yeah. that's in a week or two, almost. Right. So once this is over, I have no to go. I've been looking for one bedroom. And that's what we were trying to get into. We've been all this week and all last week, the difficulties with trying to find a place in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, a one bedroom apartment now costs you over a thousand and some dollars. And I have to get somewhere that's in, inside of my, uh, my budget. And basically there's nothing there. Everything, there's... Everything is taken. And Ben, that the rent is the thousand. They still want three times the rent. Not, yeah, you gotta make three income. times the amount of the rent. And it's like I say, once my stay here, I won't have my home. My home, I went to I went to my well, my house is more than mobile. Home. So the two sides of the things that are the home is coming apart. I went in there the other day and the floors are came My mommy took me to the house. It was like I was a joke to them. They put me through so, so much. Go. And so it's molded, mildew in there. And I can't say that. When your house is a mold level, you cannot see it because you was, uh, when you smell mold and mildew, it's already been there. And so, 
now they tell me I have to file an appeal, which would take 30 to 60 days for them to make a decision. But meanwhile, after the 10th of February, I have no place to go, nowhere to live. All um, I'm going to do because, like I said the other day, I went to the house. It's bold and old dude. It's the floor. So that's just what's going on right now. So I think it's totally ridiculous. I think that it was a smack in my face. But, you know. And and, and I think, and honestly, I think it was a lot of discrimination had to be done with that too. Because it was like some of the stuff that they was doing or whatever. I'm like, okay, it's like i seen people that had less damages than I had and was able to get their homes and things. So it's just basically, I'm walking away from my house. I'm walking away from it. And, you know, I don't know what else to do. So until then, that's what's going on. Okay, so what about the one bedroom? You say you have to find one bedroom. Let me tell you. Yeah, because story. I only need a one bedroom. We just need my um servant dog and my and my cat. That that's it. No, no, no. We're no, the only ones. No, you you know, so I only need so, like a one bedroom. So you need can't like, afford, I can't afford a two bedroom. <laughs> can't even afford they one. They are most fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like the price of the rent like, is ex so like, expensive. You need like a pet cage. Like for them, so I can sleep in it, and then so they don't have to run around, <laughs> make you irritated. Yeah, exactly. Like look that exercise. Okay, so y'all. So I'm sorry. We're getting to a little bit later tomorrow. Possibly we're going back uh, apartment hunting again. Y'all know I'm apartment hunting, but these two is not gonna let me conduct this interview. So they want their own. Go ahead. Stop. Right. Two seconds. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. For Auntie Millie, she could like get a pet, like anything for her pet. Like, if she, if she wants to get so it's gonna be her pet. and her pets. She needs yeah, a place like, for. No, like she, 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 she needs like she needs a she needs like two beds for her pet. One bed, one bed. Oh, all right, guys. This is your girl, Cadillac.